subscribe. Hi everybody and welcome. My name's Alison, the online piano and the online violin tutor. Today, um, maybe a bit of an odd video. Um, I thought I would just actually um, show you my violin case and the contents of my violin case. So what's in my violin case, I suppose. Um, just, uh, I suppose some of you who are out and about doing orchestras or, or starting off and things like that, um, I've had to learn the hard way, I suppose. But I mean, all the kind of necessary things that you might need to take if you were actually taking your violin out about to, to a concert or a rehearsal or a show or performance or, or something like that at all. These are all the sorts of things that I always take in my case. Um, I've, I've had to call on them in, in the past. Um, I've had to borrow things off of other people, which is awful to have to do because then you've got to, um, I've had to borrow strings off of people and people have had to borrow strings off of me and, and things like that. So if you can kind of come prepared, so to speak, um, you know, I, I can show you everything, all the things that I think are necessary, all the things that I take in my violin case anyway, so that if, if worst case scenario ever happens, then you're always going to be prepared for it. So um, I'm just going to take the camera off the stand and just give you a quick tour of my violin case so you can see exactly what's in it. Um, and then we'll come back. So as you can see in my, this is my violin case. So uh, the first thing I do is put a cloth over the violin um, so that it's just so that it protects it from from the rosin from the bows um, and just make sure in focus so when I close the case then you can see that the rosin from the bows isn't going to go anywhere near the violin so I always have a cloth on my violin um, the next thing that I have are two bows the top bow is the bow that I always use the bottom bow it's I know the top bow is tightened at the moment but I've I've literally just just used it the bottom bow is an old bow that I had before I bought my nice expensive bow at the top there I always keep that in there it's not a fantastic bow but I mean if you know god forbid the worst ever happens to my actual bow and I don't know it all falls apart or it all snaps in half or it gets caught somewhere and you know whatever you know, when you're out and about doing concerts and things, then I do always have an emergency spare bow. Otherwise, if you don't have a bow, then you're kind of in a bit of trouble really, aren't you? So I always have two bows in there, just in case. And not only that, if somebody, if something happens to somebody else's bow, then I've always got a spare bow for them. Um, moving along, if I remove my violin, moving along, I always keep spare strings in my case. Um, so I've got a set of dominants here. Um, I do have some either Prazi ones as well that I have on there at the moment. Um, another spare set and I have some smaller ones as well. So I always, I always keep a nice kind of range of spare set strings. If somebody needs to have a string as an emergency then I've always got some as well, but I don't buy the strings for somebody else. I buy them for me, but this is just, you know, what I've picked up over the years. I also keep um, a nail file this is I didn't have a small one so I just cut a big one in half and one of those nail clippers I have been sort of out and about before and I've forgotten to cut my nails <laughs> um, you know as it just so happens so I always keep one of them and a file in my case so it's always there um, I've got a selection of business cards that I have I always keep them in my case because you never know you know who you see at things um pencil with a rubber on the end obviously to make changes no point having a pen because you never put pen on music um and a tuning fork as well i always have one of those i know the orchestra always tunes up um or there's a piano or an oboe or something like that but you know it doesn't when i'm not with an orchestra it doesn't hurt to just have a tuning fork there moving on to the end of my case i have two different types of rosin i have some Parastro um, Gold Flex Rosin. It has bits of um, gold actually in it. That goes in my Parastro strings. I also have some some Wren Rosin as well. Um, not quite sure why I have two rosins in there. I just I just do. I think I picked that one up after I've just kept them both in there. Um, I have an elastic band in there for some reason, but I also have a little mute as well that just goes on the, the end of the violin. So I don't keep my mute on the, on the back of the, the violin all the time, just in case it, it, it comes off or, you know, for whatever reason. So I always keep that in so, there. Um Perhaps a bit of a strange video of what, what's in my violin case. Um, but like I say, it was just all the necessary that, things that I think that um, you guys sort of really need to take with you. You really should have 
you really should, if possible, have a spare bow. I mean, if you don't have a spare bow, then, and I've never had to use my spare bow, I, I must be honest, but I do like having it there as a, as a safety blanket. You probably should have spare strings in there. If anything, the one thing you should have in your violin case, other than rosin, of course, is a set of spare strings, because you never know. You're in the middle of tuning, something happens, the strings come to the end of its life, boom, string's gone, and you've got no string left. So you definitely should have a spare set of strings in there. Even if you just buy a cheapy, a set of spare strings just to get you through the orchestra rehearsal and then you can go and buy the dominant string or the or would it replace whatever it is if especially if you've got a nice string um you don't have to go out and buy a whole set of dominance for 30 40 quid just just have a cheap set in there just enough to tide you over then when you get to the shop you can replace it with with your favorite with whatever you like um and you should probably always have a pencil in there as well um, so you should have rosin you should have a spare bow if possible but definitely you should have some rosin you should have a pencil in there because you'll always need a pencil wherever you go and it's no good to rely on the person sitting next to you for a pencil um, and a spare set of uh, strings if you can as well so those are the things that, that I take out um, to rehearsals and things like that or wherever I go even if I'm on, if, even if I'm on my own which is why the tuna comes in handy and things. Um, so I hope it's been helpful in some way. Like I say, I've had to learn the hard way and gradually sort of pack my, my case with all the essentials that I, I need in it. So hopefully that's, that's helped you all out and um, I'll catch you all next time. Subscribe.